You are you're permitted to basically beat your slave up and if they survive a day or two, then there's no punishment, right? So... Did God you? tell them this or did Moses tell them this? Does God not speak on behalf of God? Does, does Moses not speak on behalf of God? Not at all times. So, so Moses can lie or he can uh, so, teach, preach for them. We, we accept the idea that Moses was a human being uh, yeah. and that he was given the Ten Commandments. But also, the Ten Commandments are there to make you perfect, right? Yeah. In that they are there to grant you salvation by obeying the laws of God. However, what, what, what you would find in the narrations going forward would be that people would consistently break those laws. And so Moses then would make additions to those laws to help them to fall the tent. Have there been anyone prior to you that has condemned Moses for coming up with this law? Um, I mean, like, if, so we don't, I don't know if, you, if you're one of those guys who holds that idea that like prophets are perfect or whatever. Do you hold the idea that prophets are like perfect, for example? That prophets aren't perfect? Yeah, do you hold that idea? Yeah, I, I understand that. I exactly, then we said to be for Moses. Moses wasn't perfect, so he didn't make mistakes. No, no, but no one prior to you has ever condemned Moses for introducing that law. I don't know about that. Can you, can you mention one church father? Can you mention one rabbi? I don't know. That, that, that has condemned Moses. I have not looked at any church father's writings on I can, Moses. I can, I, can, I can guarantee you that no one has condemned him. But ultimately, these things are not what we follow in Christianity. These, these additional laws are not for us. They were for the Jews at the time, but they're not for us. So when you're telling me that within uh, Christianity we allow you to like I, I, uh, have sex with slaves and beat slaves, that's not what we do. Because because did, did Jesus do that? No, he didn't. So well, technically he did because he he's he's God and he never condemns it whatsoever. So when when you don't condemn something, then then you then by default okay, so you associate with that. No, that's 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 not accurate. That's, because that, that, that's how it is how it is in Islam. If, if you don't condemn said, something, yeah, then it's okay. Then, no, no. If you don't, conde if you don't conde condemn something, then you right? Because uh, the Prophet said, did, man, did, man, man, did, man, did, did Muhammad ever condemn cannibalism, for example? Yeah. Where, where and when? In, in the Hadith literature, yep. you, you, you're not permitted to eat uh, human beings. Right? So, so and, and Muhammad said this? Yeah, he did. Do you know which book I can find this in? Is this in Bukhari? Where is this? No, is this I mean, in Muslim? Yeah, I mean, by consensus of all scholars and in... Uh, but Muhammad himself didn't say this. Well, he did. Well, look, in terms of not eating human beings, there is a clear cut hadith that, 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 that prohibits this. The only, the only real explanation that I've read in Christian books is in a state of war, and if a soldier is about to die of hunger, sure. then he's allowed to eat like a, like a human being. But, but, but that, that's mean, my problem with Islam, man. Like it, it, everything is, is not allowed on, unless there's like certain no, scenario alcohol, where, where, where you can. Alcohol is haram. Alcohol is haram. <sighs> right? Okay. So, those who are forced. This is like a slightly right? different point, right? But my, my overall statement here is that we in Christianity are not allowed to have slaves or have sex with slaves, which is no, why, if you read which these, is why you historically you would notice. That the, the cultures that outlawed slavery were Christian. That, those were the liberals, as I mentioned. But, but no, but, because as far back as the ninth century, with Charlemagne the Great, bro, if you, if you he wasn't the, a liberal, and he outlawed slavery in, in the Frankish kingdoms. Okay, if you refer to the letters attributed to Paul, Paul, uh, sorry, Peter, Saint Peter. If you refer to those two letters, in one of the letters is mentioned that the uh, slave must submit himself to even to the cruel slave owners. So even though slave owners are cruel, he has to submit himself to them. Rasulullah, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, the Holy Prophet, he forbade even slapping one slave, let alone submitting himself to, to, to a cruel slave. Right, right, right. So, okay, okay. So, so with just Muhammad, right, you, 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 couldn't, you couldn't slap slaves, but, but you could still just sell them, right? Mustafa what? Afeel, mashallah. The reason why I'm not intervening is because he's saying all the right things. You know, keep going, brother. Thank you. Yeah, well, I, I didn't hear your response. Sorry, <laughs> it, again. Sorry, keep, keep it going. So in Islam, you can't even hit your slave. However, I do believe that you are allowed to kill your slave. Corporal punishment is different than... than to okay, so why would, why would you even mention that supposedly you, you, you can't hit your slave when you can kill them? I mean, uh, in terms of uh, um, Qasas, 
like like for example if if you stay um talk about shelves but uh no no even even like uh had had uh, do you guys want to talk about yourselves or are you doing it with me what, 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 what are you doing for example if if a slave uh, commits fornication, the slave master has to actually carry out like punishment, like corporate punishment. No, no, punishment. but hold on. Sorry, just to... Because remember in the Quran it says that, uh, what do you call it? That, that uh, slaves have half of the... Yeah. 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 So they wouldn't get... This one there, that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, they wouldn't get, they wouldn't get a death penalty. But even if they kill someone else? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what do you call it? Brother, brother, speak to him. Yeah. Speak to I, I am not, I'm not entirely sure what you're talking about. When it comes to... Yeah, but just let him talk. Let him talk. If you guys want to talk, go ahead and talk. I can I can make mistakes. Sometimes clarifications have to be made. It's not an issue. The point being is... If you're trying to compare the treatments of slaves in the Christian context to that in the Islamic context, there's no competition. Because ultimately, we Christians do not allow slavery. So whenever you have, whenever you have, for example, in the Bible slavery. So for example, we, we, we say that, uh, that Christ came to set the captives free. And How's then the we, free, well, free, free generally I, I, from, from, from simple, yeah, that's, simple that's, activity. That's, 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 However, just as you follow the Sunnah of Muhammad, right? There are certain things that he did not say, but simply acted out. We also follow the Sunnah, if you will, of, of Christ. Christ didn't own any slaves. He didn't beat any slaves. No, so he, why should he, we, we own slaves we, and we beat slaves? Again, we freed numerous slaves. He he freed numerous slaves, but then do you wonder why he had so many slaves? Because he kept purchasing more. How many did so, he have? What do you mean? He, so no, when, wait, when he died, how can he, he, he free you? Sorry. When he died, he, he never had any, any slaves in his possession. Yeah, because he gave, gave more all his family members. No, no, he he released them all. I don't know about that, Look, but but yeah, but, but if, 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 if you insist, but it's, but it's in Sahih Bukhari and also in when it, when it comes to uh, my my source. How did he have so many slaves? He was purchasing them yeah. throughout his entire life or taking them as captives. Well, so depends. ultimately, if, if Christ did the same thing, then you can say that's the case somewhere in Christianity for us to have slaves. No, but but look, if Christ did not have his actions, then you can't say that unfortunately. You cannot remove Christ from the Christological understanding within Christianity. because Absolutely. Yeah, so, so, so all those laws in the Old Testament that talk about how you should treat your slave, those have been like um, accredited and permitted by Christ. Right? Because he, he's part of the triune God. So However, like is them and say, oh, Moses is not perfect. Moses made a mistake. Solomon wasn't perfect. Solomon made a mistake. So, for Solomon example, owned slaves. David owned for slaves. example, Moses, with, with, within, Moses within the Old Testament. Let me, let me okay, go ahead, go ahead. Moses, he basically ordered the killing of everyone except to keep the, the young uh, females. Yeah, we as, talked about as, as numbers 31, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, but, so. If and, you, and to do what with them, those, um, those girls? Those well, girls. to keep them for yourselves, but then if you look at the 2024, if you want to have sex with them, you have to marry them first. Okay. So, again, like... So you've, taken, so you've, so you've massacred their brothers, their fathers, their uncles, the non Isn't this what females. Muhammad did? When did Muhammad ever permit the, the killing of, of children and, and of women? We were talking about massacring people and then taking the yeah. women as slaves. Yeah, but, but, this is but, but, Muhammad, Muhammad, but Muhammad, sallallahu alaihi wa sallam, he only permitted um, to, to attack combatants in war, right? He, he never allowed the killing of children. In the Bible, mm. it, where? What, what is it allowed to kill the, children? The, there's that whole that they are from them hadith. In the Hummim, uh, in the Hummim, uh, that hadith, it has explanations. Well, oh, um, of course it does. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, so yeah. carry on. Because, because essentially, um, they they were attack, they were attacking at night and there was some uh, there was some what's it called? Why didn't we wait, wait till the daytime so they could differentiate between who, who's a man they, and a woman? They, they, they couldn't see like. It, so why didn't they wait a few hours? Let, let them carry on, man. It's quite rude. Hey, man, let, 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 let them do the thing. It's well, basically, well, look, it is kind of like difficult to keep up. But, but the point being is that those individuals who were who who killed in that um, um, in that siege, they were they were, they were uh, seen as uh, as casualties of that war, not not, not as deserving victims. Not as deserving uh, of, of being killed by consensus of scholars. Okay. Which which scholar has said that yes, uh, the mere fact that children and women were killed in that siege, uh, that was that was a good thing, right? Sahaba, companions of the Prophet are not infallible. Right? The, the Prophet is in fact. But Muhammad is the one who gave the command to allow him to do that at that night. He, he, he never gave a command to specifically target children and dunk them. But, like but, but what he could have done is simply say, wait to the morning. What? He could have said, wait to the morning so we can differentiate between who, who's a woman and who, who's not, not a woman and child. Al 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 Khuda. Like war, war, is, uh, war is, you know, kind of a. It's deception. It's based on deception. I mean, you, you, you can't just wait on your on your uh, on your enemy to you know sleep and eat and and all that and, and no, do ca catch them right at the brick of dawn. I mean, come when on. When they just woke up. Huh? 
cash doesn't matter because Dominic just woke up, so you can tell who, who's a man, who's a woman, well, I mean, and who's a child. Those, those kind of battle uh, statistics or, or tactics are not, are not our area of, of, speciality, of, of speciality, so the, the one who's, who's the general... If Muhammad ultimately didn't want to kill women and children, then he just told them to waste until well, they, they could see. Based on that, some, some of you also say they shouldn't even have used horses because someone could, could get trampled and whatever. I mean, this is war, so it's warfare. So, so obviously people, innocent people can die. So then ultimately, in, in your paradigm, it's okay to kill women no, and not, children okay. in, 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 the right, in the right circumstance? No, it's not. No. So, so what, what, even, wait, 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 even, wait. What Muhammad did wasn't okay? No, no, look, it wasn't intentional. It was a mistake. Okay, but right? he should have not told them to attack them, right? Why should he not have? Because it's not okay if kids die. No, no, I mean, he never, he, he never specifically ordered the attack on, on children and, and, and women. So, so, there's, he, he, there's, so, there's wait, no so, wait, 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 so, so his soldiers performed an action of their own volition without contacting him. That happened also with Khalid bin Walid. Like, for example, when, when the country of Mecca happened, yes. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Allahumma inni abra'u ulaika, ma fa'al Khalid. I, I uh, you know, uh, seek away, seek refuge to God from what Khalid has done. Okay. Com companions can make mistakes. But then the second time in that battle we're talking about currently, yeah. he didn't say that same thing. He said they reformed them. So he still missed the idea that, that they had killed uh, no, women and children. It wasn't, he said, I did not order this. Okay. Yeah. Did, so, he, so did, did, did he rebuke them, say you were wrong for this or anything? Or just by, say, no, you're from yeah, them? But by saying, I, I did not order this, this is a rebuke. Well, no, it's just a statement of fact. But he's not actually like criticizing their behavior. No, no. <laughs> a statement of fact can be, I did not order this. Or for example, saying with harshness. It, 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 it depends on the tone. Did, so, did so, he so, punish so, them? Did, did he like, like derank them or anything? Or just told them, okay, whatever it is, what it is? I don't know if that, 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 that happened. Okay. I mean, the, the same thing with Khalid, he, he, he wasn't derank either. Fundamentally, the prophet, the prophet you seem to accept the same that. thing that you're critiquing the Bible for when yeah. does it. No. My takeaway would be that if you look at the entire Old Testament, things like slavery and the, and the, the killing of women and children or whatever are not things that are encouraged, but God can certainly provide punishment on the people with these things. Because for example, the ordered. children of Israel are also taken into slavery by Babylon. And God, God is described as raising up Babylon to come and punish them for not following him. The view of slavery, even in the Old Testament, is not a good thing. It's not like a right or a privilege. It's a punishment. Okay, forget about the idea of encouraging or not. In the Bible, there's a direct order. Like, to even wipe out donkeys. Like, God knows what the donkeys have done. But, I, but, oh, okay. But the point being is, okay, okay. That, this, this is a total and clear extermination. Okay. This idea of ibadah, extermination, is nowhere, okay. like, it's not, it's not a standard. So, you're talking about an event that occurred, right, in yeah. the Old Testament. Yeah. But you have this same exact event occurring in your Quran. When? For example, if you look at uh, the, the, um, the, so, right, in the Bible, right before this happens, right, there are slaves in Egypt, right? Slaves and, in Egypt? Okay. Uh, the, the children of Israel are slaves in Egypt, right? Your, your Quran talks about this in Surah 43. Uh, like, I think it's like from verse 46 to 55. It talks about the can idea. Huh? Can, 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 no, there's no war verses at all there. What? Can you read the verse at all there? No, 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 no. no. Is there, this is not war verse. Yeah. You're talking about killing women and children donkeys. Yeah, so right? That's not exist. Oh, hold on, hold on. Allah yeah. supposedly drowns the entirety of Egypt because after, after bringing Musa there with his miracles, uh, Pharaoh laughed at him and told him that if he was from God, he should have come there with angels and clad in gold. And everyone agreed with Pharaoh, so uh, Allah drowned them all. So now, when Allah yeah, drowned, what is the this, literally, literally look, look at look at just, Surah. You bring out your phone inside. You bring, you bring it up, right? It's, 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 it's in Surah 43, okay, right? Okay, but what is Surah 43, 46, 55. So Allah drowns them all. Now, when Allah drowns them all, is, is he drowning donkeys and kids? And, and men and women? I mean, look, Ultimately, look, he is. As for... Um, he's talking about divine punishment. He's not yeah. talking about Shanaite punishment. Yeah, so I mean... Not, so, go back to the command issue that you're talking about. If but you're having an issue with God, with, 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 with God commanding people to go and kill certain individuals he's, he's, or exterminate he's, people he's, yeah. who have wronged God, right? You have to also uh, keep in mind that God does the same thing back to these same people when they disobey Him. Divine judgment versus... Yeah. Okay, so... The distinction that has to be made was, for example, like with Noah's flood. Yes. Or with the, or with the flood, for example, the, the flood here mentioned in the... In, in, in Surah 43, yes. So this is like a divine punishment, like where, where, where God is wiping, wiping them out. But here you're talking about a punishment for a certain group of people. Because God is ordering it. So it yeah, will still right, be but, divine punishments. Yeah, but, 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 but God here, as you mentioned... He's, he's carrying it out. Yeah, um, um, like in the, in the case of Noah's flood and uh, the flood that occurred with, uh, with the Egyptians, 
here God is actually the one who's carrying out the action. But what was the case of the Amal Amalekites and uh, you know the, the other groups that were, that were massacred? Those, those were human beings that were told to go out and, and wipe them out. But it is still a judgment from God. So divine means things of God. So if God is the one yeah. ordering it, it doesn't matter if it's if it's a, 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 like fire but from look, heaven, the, a flood, or the, human beings. The, 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 the people of um, of Noah or the, or the people of Moses at the time that were that were wiped out this way, they were the actual perpetrators, right? But, the but, same thing with the Amalekites. They, no, were, they were against they were, God they were, and they were His the people. Descendants of, of, uh, of but, but they're also the, the descendants of, of people who were what's it called? Um, so they themselves the, the were not like. Okay, so they themselves were not completely distinct from those people who they descended from. The people who they descended from hated God, and so did they. And the Bible even says that God will, revi will uh, revisit uh, the uh, the sins of the um, of, of the fathers upon the third and fourth generation for those who hate Him. So if your ancestors hated God and you still you still hate God today, you can still be liable for that punishment. Well, even the sheep, camels, and donkeys. Again. Your God apparently drowned Egypt, dr uh, killed the people of Lot. I'm sure they had sheep. I'm sure they had camels. I'm sure they had donkeys. So, so why is it when a lot of this fine? Are you speaking to others now? You sure. were doing it first, so please calm down. No, I don't mind. Do you want to speak I to don't me? mind either. Do you want to speak to me? What do you want? Are, 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 are we done? Or, or I mean, do, do you want a homeboy to go ahead? We're done with the game. Very good. Have you, you want to take over? Yeah, let me just, just say know. a couple of words to him. I've never met him before. They told me to come to him and speak to him. So. Oh, okay. Hey. Oh, but it was a really interesting discussion. I, I really appreciate it. Fair enough. Your, uh, but when Allah does it, it's cool. But then when God does it in the Bible, it's not cool. No, no, because <laughs> our issue with this is, is that you're making like a false equivocation. Because okay. one, one example is like, um, is like basically a, a total damnation being sent, being sent down from Allah as the object. Okay. And the other example is like a head or, a, or a, um, like a, um, a, a corporal punishment being, being carried out by human beings. Okay. So. so you're gonna. To, that's like me, for example. Okay. Let's say um, I go to like, you know, like let's say I go to Holland and then I go to the red red light district and all these people are sinners. Okay. Then, I, then I go and I pick up random, uh, you know, kids and whatever. I'm I'm stoning you as well. I'm lashing you as well. And you know, making like a complete uh, kind of. But uh, in that instance, it is you doing this of your own volition, not Allah sending you to do it. Correct? No, no. Allah ordered to punish uh, adulterers and fornicators. Okay. Yeah, so Allah is ordering it, but, but what I'm doing is I'm, I'm making like a willy-nilly, you know, everyone's getting, getting a go, everyone's having, everyone's getting punished. Okay, well that's not what's occurring here in the Bible. Oh, I God is distinctly you. telling them yeah, to sure. go and wipe them out. Yeah, so it doesn't matter from our paradigm if God chooses to perform this action by a, a flood or, or fire and brimstone from heaven or by sending people to go and do it. If God has, uh, has, has the authority to, to uh, um, enact the action, then it's all good with us. Okay, so that, let's, let's, can I take over from here, is that alright? Okay, that's a very interesting uh, kind of taxonomy that you've created for yourself. Yeah, where you're saying that basically what Allah does or what God does, in terms of his punishments that he carries out himself, is equivalent to the imperatives and the commands that he gives in the Bible of the Quran and in the scripture. Is that, between the wait, 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 that's not what I said. Okay, what is what you said? I simply said this. Yeah. It doesn't matter when God is carrying out a punishment, or, if he does it yeah. by a divine flood or fire and brimstone, yeah, or if yeah. he orders people to do it. Okay. Ultimately, if, if the actions of God are being carried out in the area of punishment, okay. then it is still can valid I, I because right. these same people that we're talking about, the Israelites, the Bible talks about where, thousands of years after this event occurred, that God raises Babylon to punish them. So if God is capable of acting divinely to raise a nation to come and punish a chosen people, then God can still carry the actions out using people as the conduits, even if it doesn't require him sending down fire from heaven. Is there a category distinction between an imperative that God gives to human beings to carry out versus the things that he carries out directly or not? I mean, obviously there is a, there is a distinction. Is there a no distinction? Two. Because like, well, one is a, is a first hand carrying out by God and the other one is, is through a, a proxy, like a, a human being, Excellent. for example. Okay. But they are okay. still both from God. So they're still valid. Except that, that it's both from God. We think everything is from God, yeah? Everything. Well, yes, everything is from God. Every, you don't will except that God wills, right? So we do believe that everything goes back to the will of God. That's why we say, inshallah, mashallah, all those words, meaning the will of God is always in everything, right? We do agree with that. Even However, cannibalism? Pardon? Yes, everything is good and the bad, right? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. we right. believe that everything goes back to the will of God. Nothing happens except through the will of God. 
That's not something the which... The bad, oof, that's, that's a bit of a problem. Something, that's not a problem because that's something yeah. which Christians also accept. We don't... In fact, you know, especially if you go into the Calvinist school of thought, it's even more pronounced. They, they talk about um, divine predestination. Calvin wrote a whole tract on it. I can give you the references. I am not a Calvinist, first of all. No problem. And I'm not even sure Calvinists would hold to the idea that evil comes from God or... or, or they, I, they mention it. Augustine mentions it in his, uh, in his book. I don't think you know your tradition very well. Let's go back to the point, though. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Can you bring it out and show me that, please? Yeah, yeah. Oh, 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 that's fine. Isaiah 45. No, no, but it's fine, it's fine. It's fine, it's fine. Yeah. This is a... This is... Sorry. Let me just ask me. Go ahead. What I'm saying to you now, if you've studied the basics of Christian doctrine... The basics, you say? Yeah, the basics of Christian okay. doctrine. Okay. If I ask you the question, what is the differentiation between Arminianism and... I am not familiar with Arminianism. Oh, so there you have it. You don't know is, the basics of No, 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 wait, wait, wait. Well, hold on now, hold on now. Calvinism is a relatively new idea. Because you're not involved in the conversation. Wait a second. Calvinism is a relatively new idea. Stay on so the how, how would... Don't move how would I'm, trigger. Trigger. I'm not triggered. I'm just saying, stay on topic. Over here. What's the difference between over here, over, the difference over here, what is what, the difference pause. between Arminianism and Calvinism? How does that involve? Ask me. Wait, you're you're bringing modalism now. Modalism. Modalism. Calvinism, yeah, bro, the new idea. Tell me what, what, so what's how, the differentiation between How can that be the foundationalism of Christianity I'm not, I'm if it's a relatively new idea? I you, you just said one second ago no, no, that I don't know the foundations of my faith, yeah, this, this, and then you spoke of Calvinism. Of, excuse me. When it comes to the will of God, there are three main schools of thought in Christianity. Okay. All right. They are Calvinism, okay, represented by John Calvin, uh, Monilism, represented by Monila, Moni, Monila, and Arminianism. I'm asking you. Since you're talking about the will of God and the actions carried out by him, tell the audience, the Muslims here and the, and the non-Muslims and all that, what is the differentiation between all these three schools of thought? I have not looked into them. You haven't looked into them? You don't know? Well, yes, I don't. I don't, you don't know. I'm aware of the Calvinist school of thought, but not the modalism so you haven't, of the you haven't studied it? Study the other two? No, okay. I have not. Oh, but have again, so, so good. what does that have to do with the idea excuse that you just said excuse me, excuse me. that everything comes from Allah, yeah, including yeah, you, evil? So that question. means that you have an I'm evil God. I'm answering your question. Wait, 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 excuse me. Excuse me. Let me finish this. Let me answer your question. I, I just want to read this. Is, no, 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 is your God let evil let me, or, or not evil? Let me finish. Well, I mean, for, uh, no, me, uh, you, know, you could jump in because no, no, he was no, talking no, when you were talking. No, no, no. Last thing I'm going to say. No, 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 I, I, know, I, know, I know you do want to You do want to circumnavigate these questions. You were I, there. I, I the you thing. were there talking to him. The same thing. You were there talking to him when he was speaking. No, but I was. So was now, no, he's grant him the same courtesy. No, I don't need to. I'm going to cite one verse. Go, go, go ahead. Go ahead. Okay, God God in the Bible says, in Isaiah 45, I am the Lord and there's none else. I form the light and create darkness, yep. and make peace, and create evil. Thank you very much. Thanks so much. Bro. Oh, hold on a second there. But, but before you run away, does that say that God is the origin of evil, or God can create evil? Two different things. Okay, so let's go back to the point. Let's hear it. You're talking, you asked the question, I is your that, God evil? No, no, I didn't say, that's not what you asked. I just Everyone asked that now. No, you didn't ask that question. What was the, what was the question? I said to you before, right, God, everything goes back to the will of God, and okay. I quoted a verse from the Quran, I said, well, to Evil. Let me finish. Okay, I go for from it. one perspective, you can't say that everything goes back to the will of God. Then you said, oh, then you started making it an Islam kind of, specific kind of issue. right? Yeah. You made the for example, yep. and I told you it's not an Islam specific issue. And I said to you, why is that the case? If you look at Christianity, there's three distinct schools of thought. Okay, and these three schools. There's of probably th more, but okay, sure. No, there, there are, there are, of course, there's more, but these are the three main ones that scholars speak about in, in, in the academy, for example, right? There are three distinct schools of thought. Calvinism, Monalism, and Arminianism. And in Islam, because again, we're talking about Islam. You yeah, okay. said everything goes okay. back to Allah. Yeah, yeah. I asked you, does cannibalism go back to Allah? Yeah, okay. And you said yes. So, so in, one, in one sense, it does. And so is, uh, in, in, in Calvinism, the same thing applies. In, in Arminianism, look, you have to understand that in Monalism, it does as well. So you're going to answer a question so look, to do with not, Islam is, you don't understand. with Monalism. The, the problem is this. Is that the issue is I'm speaking to a Christian and he doesn't even know his own religion. Again, I issue. am asking you, you look, is I, Allah evil? Because no, you, said, you, you evil. said the good evil. and the excuse evil go back to Allah. Yeah, back. So if Allah is yeah. the origin of good and evil, okay, excuse is me. he good? Let me, let, me, let me answer your question, right? Since you don't know what you're talking about, let me answer your question. Okay, well, you, right. you, said, you said the origin, yeah, no. so... Since you don't know Either use better about, words, or we want specific. Okay, 
you don't know what you're talking about. Okay. So let me just. And it. did you miss speak me. just now? No, I didn't. Okay. So, so just, 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 just to confirm, just to you confirm, good and clearly. evil come education? from Allah. Look, you're, 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 good and look, evil come from Allah. Is that correct? Yeah, we believe that. Awesome. Okay. Can I, can I, so Allah is good, what is correct? This? What is this? The monologue. Allah is good, correct? Are you afraid? Are you triggered? Hold on. Are you afraid? Allah is good, correct? He doesn't want me to talk. No. Simple. Simple. Allah is good, correct? Do you want to time it? Because he's the origin of goodness. Do you want to time it? What do you guys want? T timing or not? Yeah, time it, time it. If no. you say your yeah. thing, I say my thing. If you, if you, okay. can't, if you can't have the conversation... Well, no, just, fair, fair enough, okay. Okay. Keep well, well, what's your, what's keep you want? Two. I'll give you one more chance if you can't handle what the do you want? No, if you want to tell me one time, that's fine. We'll do one more chance and if you can't speak properly, okay. I'll let you speak and then finish so, and I'll let you So, I go finish. first. Again, is go Allah good? Yes, we believe Allah Because he's the origin of goodness, correct? No, no, no. No? Okay, why is Allah good? We believe goodness is one of the intrinsic attributes of God. He's Al-Bar. Awesome, awesome. Good. Now, evil comes from this goodness. No, we don't believe that. But you just said that. No, I didn't just say that. Let me you explain. said that. Let me explain what Okay, go ahead, go ahead. There's something called theodicy. Do you know what theodicy is? Not familiar. Not familiar. Hmm? This is the problem. I'm speaking, oh, I'm speaking, oh, excuse oh, me. wait. Let me finish. So all you, all you can do let is just quote a description. Let me finish. No, let me finish. Ah, okay, okay. Let me finish. That's let fine. Me, we, 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 can, we can play this game. We can play this game. Let me finish. We can play this game. The problem is right. this. The problem is I'm speaking to a person who has not studied his own religion, has not studied the academic material. Okay. The Odyssey are theories relating to evil and sovereignty and the will of God. Now let me tell you something, right? Theories of evil in religion. Augustine has... Islam. No, it's not in Islam. 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 I asked Islam. you an Islamic question yeah, and, and you're now quoting Augustine. Explaining to you Augustine, something. in case you didn't know, is not an Islamic scholar. So yeah, carry on. <laughs> Islam. Are you, are you okay? Islam. Are you okay? Islam. He is true though. I'm, okay? I'm waiting. Yeah. Are you okay? Right? Because oh, okay. if you ask me a question about the Bible, I'm, yeah. I'm not going to quote Al Albini for you. What is Augustine's view on theodicy? Again, and Islam. Evil. Is, what is God view? evil? Please go I said ahead. No, do you understand English or not? Okay, all right, English? awesome, awesome, awesome. Wait, wait, okay. everyone yeah. listening. What is evil? So, what is evil? He just what said that good and evil come from Allah. Yeah, what is evil? I said it's Allah good. He yeah. said yes, what it's an interesting evil? attribute. So what is and evil? I asked him what then, does the evil, evil? come from what Allah that who is good? And he okay. says no. Okay. But okay, don't forget, what his earlier point. Yes, you did say no. It's on camera, everyone can see it when you get home. Pause. Pause. Let me, but, my position no, that, that's fine, go ahead. But he said that the evil does not come from Allah who is good. But that's then prior said. to that, he said that no, evil no, no, anger no, comes no, from no, Allah. No, Please clarify. Right. God, Allah is good. Yes, we believe that's an intrinsic attribute of God. Okay, awesome. What is evil? I take the view that evil is the lacking of good. It's deprivation. That's why I take the view. Privation. Interesting. That's the view that I take. That's good, the okay. same view of Augustine and Thomas Aquinas and Ibn Taymiyyah and Ibn Qayyim. Okay. Yes, it's a view of... That's what I'm saying. It's a view in Christianity and a view in Islam. It's not an Islam specific issue. Excuse me, let me finish. So what is evil? Evil is the lacking of good. Like for example, you've got the sun that's a shining light upon us, right? So good in this analogy would be the, 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 the bright light or the rays. And evil would be the darkness that doesn't come about if there's no rays. That's my view on evil. So in other words, if you're asking me the question, does evil come from God? In one sense, of course it does because God is responsible for all things that exist. But evil doesn't exist in my worldview. That's the point. Do you understand? Evil doesn't exist as a substrate. You can't put evil under a microscope. So going back to the point, if you're asking a question about does evil exist? So I'm saying to you, if there are theodicies in Islam and Christianity, both religions, which have different ideas. Within Islam, there's different ideas. Within Christianity, there's different ideas on evil and theodicy. This is not a point where you, you could basically have a different view to me and be in my religion, and you can have the same view and be in another, the same different religion. It's not a, a point that differentiates Christian from Muslim. Do you understand yeah. the point? What I'm responding to you by saying is, what you've done is a category mistake fallacy. What you've done when you were talking to the other guy, was you're saying that it's the same if God carries out a punishment himself as it is if he commands it. I'm saying no, that's, not, that's a category mistake fallacy. You are able to see and demarcate and distinguish between the two categories. If God tells me to go and not eat pork, for example, or not have sexual intercourse before marriage, that's a command. Do you understand? Whereas if he drowns people because they were uh, disobedient, that's him carrying out judgment. I see a dif differentiation. Yes, both of them go back why to the Why can't God. God carry out judgment using people? Explain that for us. What do you mean, why can't God? Why can God why not, not carry out judgment using people in the way he does using a flood or fire from heaven? No, I'm not saying he doesn't. And that's, what I, that's my, that's my no, point. I, and I accept so that what point. you're accept, seeing there from a children of Israel is God carrying out no, punishment I accept that point. You made a good point them. there. That was you're, all. All you're saying is, from one perspective, everything goes back to the will of God. I'm saying, yeah, I accept that. 
Well, that's not what I'm saying. So no, but that's what you should be saying because that's a more coherent way of saying it. No, because then there are issues with that. So like, uh, that's what I'm saying. Everything goes I, back to the will of God. How's that issue with that? That's something consensus in Christianity and Islam. Uh, I don't know if you would frame it that way. With, with so you don't think everything goes back to the Christian uh, the, the so will of God? So when you say will of God, define what you mean by will of God. Are you speaking about God's desire? Or, or, or God's uh, pervasiveness over all creation? What are you talking about? When I say will of God, when I say will, I'm talking about the ability to choose A over B. I'm talking about the choice of God. I'm talking about the permission of God. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. So, so again, God's pervasiveness over all creation? No, not necessarily. That's something else. I'm talking about the will of God. God can decide A over B. A, a, God can decide this or that. That's what God can decide. That tree can be green, it can be blue. That's the will of God. It's the, it's the will of God. It's in accordance with the will of God that the tree is green. It's not, it's, it's not according to the will of God that it's blue, it's not blue. So let's say so for... So nothing can be, is, is my postulation, nothing can be except through the will of God. That's my view. And that's the view of the vast majority of Christian scholars, and the vast majority of Jewish scholars, and the vast majority of theists. Okay, okay, so that, that's fine. Instead of creation, sure, we can see that God so has what's, a pervasive overall here, things. This? However, when it comes to actions... Yes, okay, what about actions? Are you going to say yeah. that what, nothing, not that, that, no, 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 that, that no action can be committed without the will of God? Yes. Ooh, okay. The difference I would say is this is that. And when, yeah, you, say, when you say will, yeah, you're yeah. talking about providence here. No, no, not desire. No, no, actually, because within Christianity, for God example. God everything. Okay, but one second. Within Christianity, yeah. we use the will of God to mean a, a number of things, including what God desires, for example, we'll respect. You for you don't, you don't his creation. So respect. We'll Pause yeah, go on. for his creation go on. and what God desires us to do. Right. And we use the will of God to encapsulate this idea. Okay, now, can I no, no, no. Okay, when, it, when it comes to actions that human beings can carry out, slavery, rape, whatever the case might okay. be, these things are against the will of God and that it's not God's desire okay. for us. Oh, I understand However, your point. I understand your point. if you want to use the word will to mean purveyance, as in no action can be committed right. without God um, allowing, permitting, or willing it to, to be so, yeah, yeah. that's also something a little bit different. So we do have that distinction. We have something called okay. the Allah. So now, now you do. Okay, no, no, awesome. No, we have, I understand what you're saying, but okay. we don't put it in the way. Look. We have something called irada sharia and irada kawniya, which is like you got the cosmological will and you have the legislative will. I, okay, I've, 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 I've heard about this recently. Okay, so okay. this is the, 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 the cosmological will right. is what God allows to happen in the universe. Okay. Whereas the, the sharia or legislative will is, is what that God, God deems for you to do. Yeah, mm -hmm. instructs people to do, and as a result of him instructing people to do that thing, okay, they either do it or not with their free will. Now, as I say, we believe in free will. Me and you both believe in free will as, as a, as a Well, as, as a Muslim, it's a bit tricky, but sure. What do you mean as a Muslim is tricky? What do you think so, as a Christian it isn't? Uh, no, because we don't... So why, so why do you have... Why do you okay, have this so, school? so, uh, people... What? No, no, no. Why do you have Arminianism and Muslim and Calvinism? No, Calvinism? again, again. They, these are not like, like massive schools of thought. Yes, they like, are. Like, they're not held to by the majority of, of, of Christians. What are you talking about? These, you don't even know these, what they are. These are small, potentially what are they? What are they? Protestant sects. What? No, they're not. These are not... Okay, so, for example, the schools you mentioned, can you please tell me how many Christians globally hold to the idea? We don't really know. Okay. Is it the majority? Calvinism, uh, in terms of uh, uh, Protestantism, it could be argued that the majority of Protestants are Calvin. Calvinists. Could be argued. I don't know Could be argued. That. But there's no survey that's been done. But what I do know is that, so, that what Angelical Institutes that do hold that position and teach it in their seminaries. Okay, the majority I, of them do. again. This would not constitute the majority of, of I Christians. I don't know. I, I'm not saying it. I don't have a sociological okay. study. Do you so, have it? So, when but it comes, however, it's, it's to Islam, in the, in the academy, unfortunately... Though, excuse me. In the academy, Calvinism is one of the biggest and most defended positions, clearly. 100%. Again, I am not certain on that. I, I haven't done that on a survey. William Lane Craig has a, has, a, has a... He defends the Molinist position, for example, yeah? And he mentions, he mentions the, the, the prominence of the, uh, of the Calvinist That's position. one dude. No, but he That's mentioned. One guy. No, but from his experience as a Christian scholar, one of the greatest of his era, he's saying that actually the Calvinist position is one of the most prominent ones in Catholic, in uh, in Protestantism, and he he he, he argues against. It. Again, what Why what, does he what argue you're no 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 what what, what, you, what you're making? No, I said it was relevant. I said it was not followed by the majority well, of no, Christians. Nevertheless, whereas the within position, Sunni Islam, excuse me, let me just say this one. Okay, more go more ahead, more. go ahead. Even the Molinist position and the Calvinist position. And even the Armenian position, to a lesser extent, I will grant, all of them have the will of God attached to them. 
you cannot uh, you cannot obey the will of God. I have not looked into them, so I cannot so, comment so on, on their interpretation of the will of so God. Why, but, but what why, I'm why commenting on? on currently is that you said that we both believe in this. In the and will I, of God. I, no, not in the will of God, in predestination. And yeah. I am telling you that it is worse within Islam. What's worse? Because what does worse mean? Worse meaning that all of you, at least, I'm guessing you're a Sunni, you're a Sunni uh, Muslim, correct? Awesome. If you accept Sunni Hadith, you're going to have to accept the idea that God uh, writes down what you're supposed to do before you were born. Yeah, yeah, that's that's and, a biblical and, and, idea. No, 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 no. And then, that's a biblical and idea. then are, are you, he also serious? adds that you can do good okay, deeds okay. all the days of now, your life. You're, you're digging your own grave. Well, pause, pause. You're digging your own grave. So you're about a hand span away from entering heaven. Okay. And then what is written for you will yeah. overtake you yeah, yeah, and yeah. then you will begin to do the deeds of the hell, yeah, people of hellfire yeah, yeah. until you wind up in hellfire and to, vice versa. Okay, so, yeah. so we don't hold yeah. that God distinctly makes you so that you will go to hell and overrides your free that. will well, so that you will go to hell. That's respect. what we believe. Can I say so that's what you guys believe. And unfortunately for you, it's a Sunni position. Okay. So you're going to have to say that compared to Compared to you, Calvinism you to within within Christianity, your what is belief, Calvinism? your belief what is in Calvinism? predestination and how it overrides your will is far more pervasive so, within so, Islam so what's, than what it is found, in Christianity. What I found disturbing about this conversation is here we have. Look, Are you going to comment on what I said? Yeah, I or, am. Okay, can I, can right. I tell you what I'm going to say? Uh, what I find sure this, thing, or just, just say sure, it. Sure. Yeah, if you, if you uh, what, what I find disturbing about this conversation is that you openly and publicly admit to your ignorance of your own doctrines and the schools of thought they're in. I am waiting for so you to explain finish, let me finish. how you supposedly excuse, excuse don't have me. a worse version of your destination. Have I have let you finish? Let me finish. Well, you interrupt me, I interrupt right. you back. Okay. Like, if you want time, I'm, I'm fine with that. If you want time, I'm I'm go ahead. Best. I think the best. Once again, if you can't handle it, a normal conversation. Because Likewise. Think, uh, it's clear that you get triggered and then you need to get you need to get involved. You do so the same thing, so you also get triggered get, and get involved. Possibly, possibly. Okay. So let's go back to the point. The point I'm making is this. Calvinism, yes? Is a strict position when it comes to the sovereignty of God. Yes? Monalism. Stricter than what? Sorry. Stricter than monalism and Armenianism. If you insist, I haven't looked into it. Okay, okay, great. Fair okay. But what I'm postulating to you now, okay, the middle knowledge that um, Molina described and even people like Craig and so on are defending has the will of God attached to it. Even Armenianism has In what it. sense, sorry? It has it, for example, in different senses. So if you don't, in, don't in, in, on this. No, 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 no. Are you asking don't, to don't run from my idea. No, Again, no. Yeah, very yeah. briefly, in yeah. what sense? All right, so the Calvinists have a, an acronym called TULIP. Have you ever come across it? Okay, if, it, if, you, if you can't simply describe if this will of God you're uh, speaking you're about... You're asking me a question no, and you're not letting me finish Very it. simply. Okay, you're not letting me finish the question. Okay, you're frowning. Calm down. Yeah, so, I'm frowning because you're... Calm you're down, calm question. down, calm down. So, very simply, can you just really briefly just run past yeah, if yeah. this is when we talk about the will of God, okay, so the general desire of God or the purveyance of God very quickly okay, and my, then comment on, my, on, on these my other My understanding views. of the Calvinist position, yeah, is that the will of God is so much emphasized that they have something called the elect there are people okay. that yeah. people that god elects un, uh, they call it unconditional um election or something it's called unconditional election yeah Where, excuse me it. you don't know but it's well, you don't know either because you're guessing but unconditional go ahead. Is, is, is tulip t-u-l-i-p yeah each each of the what are you awesome. laughing at? It's your, it's your doctrines. I'm not talking about mine. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I, I, don't I, I, I don't remember subscribing to the Tulip Doctrine, but go ahead. Go ahead. It's, it's a Christian doctrine. Yeah? Well, it's, not, it's an acronym, but okay, okay, go ahead. No problem. But this is how they, they, they uh, like talk about it. I'm aware. Right. Just, just run through so it, man. The, like, I, the idea is yeah. that even Augustine, for example, in his book. Okay. What do you mean, what do you mean okay? Like, just me, get to the point. I'm I don't... I don't you're, 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 you're okay. like you finish the sentence, yo, just yo, get to the dude, point. Dude, dude. Just get to the end, please. The end point I is don't this. need the end yeah, point thank is you, thank according you. to that school of thought, if God elects you to go to hell, you will go to hell. So okay. much so that Augustine believed the following. He believed that if a child is not baptized, yeah, that they will go to hell, a baby. That's okay, a view. Excuse That's me, it's a view, view and it's a view that the Catholic Church held, yeah, up until quite recently. I am not Catholic, so. I know, but okay. I'm Christian Christianity has Protestantism, Calvinism, Catholicism, all that. You have to understand that. I'm talking about Christianity here. So well, you? no, I'm, I'm you're talking, talking about, you. about Catholicism. You're talking about okay, you, uh, your, your position. I'm, I'm, we're talking about the whole of Christianity. Okay. I'm saying, if you look at the whole of Christianity, you have different positions. The idea that the will of God or the sovereignty of God is, is, uh, is, is that which manifests and that he can decide who goes to heaven and hell, 
from the beginning is something which is clear in Cal Calvinist. I would say that probably Calvinists would add the idea of foreknowledge to the equation. Not that they're being elected no, no, to no, no, distinctly no, no, go wrong. to hell. That's wrong. But I would, I, I would imagine that they that's would wrong. add some amount of foreknowledge that's to wrong. it. That's so wrong. Calvinists that's have wrong. to admit that, that God has you foreknowledge. Know. You said you don't know what God... Yes, they, they do have... say that as well. Yeah, okay, awesome, great. So, so I, I know they that, that as well. So, awesome, that's what I said. So, so why are you making this an Islamic issue? No, 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 no. Because... Why are you making this an Islamic issue? According to your hadith, Allah what simply do you mean? This is that something that you believe no, 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 in No, 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 the difference, the difference. You don't know Allah writes you don't know or sends the angels to write down yeah, you got, what you, a person would do yeah, yeah, and yeah. The, 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 uh, the sort of like um, the uh, hard determinism is to such a degree Wait a minute. that somebody will be doing the deeds okay. see, of the about. people of paradise well, who until yeah, what yeah. is written for them okay. overtakes okay. them. So, so let's, just, let, let's just say, well, a moment. Let's just say, for example, that, that Allah said, heaven, hell, uh, heaven. You can do nothing to avert that, but go to where Allah told you to go to. So if he said hell for you, that's not the and, position and, of no, well, well that, that's what it says. No, that's not the position of That's what the hadith says. Uh, yeah. So unless so, you want to contradict let's the, hadith. the hadith. 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 No, let's go to the hadith. hadith. Uh, let me read it. it, 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 it let me well, read it for you. Oh, oh, give, it, give, it, give no, a number. No, it's fine, I got it. Give him a number. It's Ibn Mas'ud's hadith, it's Mishnah Bukhari. Yeah. Do you got the number for it? There's different numbers depending on this. Number four and... Uh, look, look it up, look it up. It's number four hadith and now is 40, right? Okay, there you so go. they have. Uh, so they have. I don't speak Arabic, I'm my dude. I don't you. care. You Just, do you know it in English? English? I'm going to say it in English. Just say it in English then. Keep interrupting. Just say it in English. I'm going to say it in English. Okay, okay. I'm going to say it in English. Okay, wait, wait, wait. You, you tend to do a lot, a lot of like fluff. Can you just get to the no, point, I'm please? I'm mentioning the hadith that you mentioned. Yeah. I don't you speak Arabic. I don't care. So just go to English. I don't care. We're we speaking, speak Arabic. We're we're speak speaking Arabic. in front of many people here. You're, you're not talking to Arabic. me, I not know, them. No, I'm speaking to the public. You tell me in English okay. as well. I'll, Wait, I'll hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm guessing that all of you speak English at least. You right? Listen, okay, I'm gonna do you my should. thing. I'm, you're not going to dictate what I say here. Just get you're to not the end part. What I say. Because in, so no, if you're okay, so, so you, if you everything can't be patient. wait a second, in that time I would have finished that. If everything you say, if everything you say has to have this fluff behind it, just in get that, to the end. In that time you want to finish the hadith. You're wasting my time. Like, in you this are place. wasting my time. Translates. Google okay, translates. Translate. Like, go. Awesome. Okay. Thank you, man. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go for it. I am the family of the Jannah. I ain't translating. I ain't translating. No, no, listen. English. I know if you're you dead triggered. Fayamal means he does. English. Are you letting me speak or not? English. He doesn't want to let me speak because he knows, he knows. So he you're, knows you're, what's you're gonna, yes, you're speaking Arabic and I don't speak Should Arabic. Just let him talk. I don't speak English. Should just let him talk. Yeah, no, listen, if, if you don't want to defend your position, that's fine. But ultimately, Muslims, you're going to have to realize that you serve a God who will send you to hell for no apparent reason all right, all right. other so, than. Oh. All right. now, yeah, translate, translate. Or what? So you, are you done? You go translate? Are you, did you give up? Are you going to translate? So, did you give up? Are you going to if translate? You if you talk over me for another minute, I'm going to consider that. Are you going to translate, please? Because you don't want to talk. You don't want, you don't want me to talk, which means you give up. I, no, no. I said very distinctly on camera. Your boy here I is said, the for you. go to the English, English and, not, and then talk not. about he's it. Throw the white towel for him. He's staying. We're staying here. Throw the white towel for him. Yo, yo, yo. English, go. All right. So it says that he will do. Awesome. Yo, look at him, man. Look at him. Sorry, sorry. I got to happy. I got happy. Go ahead. If he continues to this, he knows capitulation. Yo, yo, my bad, my bad, man. Capitulation. Go ahead, go ahead, man. Go ahead. I'm proud of you, though. Please. You finished? All done. So he will do the actions of the people of heaven. Mm -hmm. Do means that the volition goes back to him. He's doing actions, right? So in other words, he's going to be doing certain actions which will legitimize for him to go to heaven or hell. Okay. So in other words, what you're, what you're, what you're pr proposing, which is that people, Allah is putting people into heaven and hell, is not what the hadith actually even says. But you didn't get to the other parts. What, what part of it? Is? The part where it says that he will be a handspan. From paradise. I didn't mention that. You didn't mention that. Yeah, I said. So let me show you. Just, to, you, you said it the first you part only. You said get to the point. Okay. You said get to the point. But the the, the, the no point. No, no, that wasn't the point. The point here is that they are doing the deeds. They are no. Just so, just the, the part hadith? where they are doing the hadith. Sorry, sorry. Which hadith. part would you, would you like me to translate? Absolutely. The part Which where they are like? doing the deeds. Yeah, yeah. Until they are about a half okay, time away. And then and then yeah. and then what is written for them overtakes them. Yeah, yeah. Okay, and they so begin to do the deeds of the opposite. Fine, fine. There you go. The translation of the hadith begins that one of you will be in your mother's womb for forty days. As that's, a, oh, that's for the rub. Okay. 
Uh, okay, fine, sure, go ahead. This means he's giving up, by the way. No, it doesn't. It does mean that. Yeah, doesn't. No, no, it doesn't. doesn't. You, so, hijab, you know okay, very well. so, no, so you, you guys, no, no. if you've ever read, read the hadith, well. what's happening here is that hijab is going back up to the middle of the hadith and then reading it back down. You don't want me to read the text. I mean, go for it in English. What do you want? What do you want? Okay. Explain to these people why Allah yeah. is overturning people's destinies yeah. so that they will then perform actions that are in tune Can with his decree for where uh, they will go. The Quran is very, uh, I told you already, there's two things going on at the same time. We believe, we started off with that, which means that you cannot will except that Allah wills, right? Which, uh, which that verse itself, it affirms two wills. The will of God, which is the overarching will, which all the wills go back to, and the will of the human being that's, that can do something, right? You have a will, God has a will. Allah's will is overreaching. Okay. Yeah, that's what we believe. So Jesus why is the will of God such? So that, uh, at least Allah's, so, sorry, are you, are you, such. Are you let me finish? Okay, go right. ahead. So we are compatibilists. You know full well, actually I'm not sure that you do, but let's just say that there are three schools of thought in Western philosophy, in Greek philosophy, in Christianity, and in Islam, all of these three schools are very similar, which is that you've got compatibilism, determinism, and you have libertarianism, right? Libertarian free will. If you want to, if you want to make this very easy, in this, in Islam, just to give you this kind of, in Islam you have three schools of thought which are similar to the Christianity. Make it easy. I'm, I'm explaining it to you, please. Let me finish. In Islam, you have a school of thought called the Qadariya, which are also Mu'tazila, right? so the, 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 which are similar, the to, okay. which are the most similar to the Armenians. Which means that they emphasize the will of human being and de-emphasize the will of God and the sovereignty of God. Okay. The middle one, we believe is Al-Islam or Jama'ah, the compatibilist. And the one which is quite similar to Calvinism and from our side is, is the Jabriya. The ones who emphasize the sovereignty of God above and beyond the will of the human being. We, as my position as Al-Islam or Jama'ah, is that I affirm two things in a way which the mechanisms we, human beings have not been able to decipher the way it works. We, uh, we affirm the will of human being and the will of God. We affirm that God gives us free will to co conduct certain things. That's the position of the, the Christian majority and the Muslim majority. We don't actually differ on this. So you're, However, you're this to, you're that to the hadith table. says otherwise. I know, but yeah, you, it doesn't say it doesn't say what you're saying. It's like, it literally, literally does. Okay, wait. Uh, let, 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 me, let, me, let me let me get let me get it out. Let me get it out. Let me get it out. Okay, the word amala in Arabic means he does. Okay. So if, if it says and that, the, he, he here is the human, correct? Yeah, yeah. What so, number, what number is it? Uh, I have so, no so, idea. So, sorry, I'll get it. He I'll does. He does by the amal. He does with the actions of the people of Jannah, okay. which means that doesn't that, that doesn't disqualify or doesn't uh, distinguish or sorry doesn't um, uh, diminish from the will of human being. Now, can so you get to the part where Allah, the human being? can you get to the part? Okay, wills can you believe, keep only saying the first can part. Can you get to the second part where Allah will then overturn them based upon what's written for them? And yeah. if they were determined... No, 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 no. The reason why they're going to hell is because of their actions. But it literally says in the English, what is written no, for them will English. overtake them. No, no, no. It says that, what, yes, but it says that what they will do with the actions of the people of heaven. They will do with the actions of the people of hell in the two parts of the hadith. Yes, but okay. okay. So they're doing so, actions that so, don't go to, go to hellfire. No, 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 no. Because initially, How's that that, different initially, that person was doing the deeds of the people of paradise. Then what Allah wrote for him overtook him and he began to do the actions of the people of the hellfire. So, so not, he had no ability yeah, yeah. of his own to simply you, choose to follow you, Allah all the way. Allah deemed Allah deemed that he was going to go to hell. And as a result, yeah, regardless yeah. of whether or not he is following the deen or not, he will end up in hell. No, that's not how it to, works. To, to get it, to such a, a, no one says it like that. To such an extent that. that even if the person was a but monk or a priest or an imam, you're making things up. As long as Allah has deemed for them to go now to hell, you're making things up. whatever is written for them will overtake them to a degree where yeah, yeah. they will then abandon their actions of of, of, of a piety and then go to no the actions of hellfire. No one in the that's what the hadith excuse, says. Excuse me, but no school of thought in Islamic history of 1,400 years has ever articulated it the way you said it. Well, that's the same reading no, of it. No, so, so no, it's not a plain reading. That's it, your it literally reading. is. No, actually, you're, that's your reading. And it you can't even read your own text. Reading. You don't even know your own doctrines. That's not what, number one. Number two is this. Hey. Let me ask you a question. Can I, can I, you can read it and, you and you're afraid to talk about that last part. But, but again, look, 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 before you, you are, are you moving on or are we still talking about other same stuff? Will, will. The will of God. Okay, the will of God in relation to your salvation, correct? Fine, fine. Let me ask you a question. Okay, go ahead. Now, we believe that you have God's will, then you have the human being's will, right? 
And we believe that the God's will and the human being's will, they synchronize in a certain manner. There's a, uh, there's a compatibility that happens between them. Now, I want to know from a Christian perspective, because this is why I think the difference actually really is. The biggest difference between Christian and Muslim on the issue of free will and determinism is not actually on what he's talking about. It's because we believe in very similar stuff on this and we have very similar schools of thought. It's actually the following. The question is, how can you have three ultimate wills? You have the will of the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. Now I want to know, how does that circle? Oh here? wait, so you're pivoting now. Okay, no, okay. Because it's the all right, all right. No, hold on there. Hold on now, hold on. So let me finish. Hold on. No, 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 You don't want to go no, there? No, you don't want to wait. go there? You're about to pivot. So, before we do pivot. You don't want to go there? Before we do pivot. Oh, okay. You're going to have to concede something. So you don't want to go there? That your God, unfortunately, acts as a moral monster in that he is not willing to simply let people follow him of their own volition. Instead, he must determine where they will go and then uh, do it such a degree that even if they're performing the actions that would result in the, in, the, in the negation occurring, he will force them to make sure that, that they are acting in a compatible way with his overall will. Do you agree or disagree? Of course we don't agree with that. Oh, really? We don't agree so, with that. So, according... You're wasting my time with this now. No, 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 no. You're wasting my time with no, no, this. No, 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 no. Listen, I want to explain to you. are about to pivot, okay? Yeah, but before you do, can, 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 can see the move. You don't like it. Because that's where the Quranic argument is. If you want to go to a trinity, a, I, I can give you a trinity as well. Okay, good. Now now we're talking. Now that's what the movement no, comes No, but before we go there, before we go there... Now I'm, he's going to be proud of you. <laughs> I hope so. I'm proud of him anyway. Hey, man. Okay. Yo, before we go there, you're going to have to concede something. He's going to be proud of you. Like your God's a moral monster. I'm, I'm waiting. Yeah, you can believe that if you like. No, no, no. no, no problem. Let's I'm waiting. Is it, I'm waiting. What do you mean? Concede that, please, and then we can so move on. So you're saying that the only way you're going to talk about a trinity is if I say something blasphemous about my own God? I see. Oh, okay. okay. So that's not capitulation. That's not cowardice. That's okay. not you running away. That's not him going to throw the white towel for you. Okay, well, again, you're you're, throw uh, the white towel. Every, everyone has seen you here run away. that Muhammad was not willing you run away. to actually partake in the discussion. You run away. And then he ran away to a whole different I'm, point I'm, I'm because he couldn't about deal, I'm asking about Christian he couldn't Muslim deal with the idea that his God makes people, my name is David. David. He couldn't deal with the idea that his goal What's causes people to, to go to hell. Huh? Mark. Mark. Okay. But that's just fine. We'll move, move on then. We'll, right, we'll David, listen to me very carefully. Let me hear Mark. I've said to you before, okay. and you, don't, you haven't studied this. I have. So I'm telling you from someone oh, who really? has. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, so, right. so I'm telling you from the perspective of someone who has. Your religion, I've studied more than you have. Really? Of course I have. Okay. I'm accredited from your awesome. university here in the university. No, no, I can't wait to ask yes, some, some, some questions. Have, where have you studied? Sorry? Your religion. Where have you studied it? Still my religion? Yeah, where have you studied oh, your no, religion? Don't, don't worry. I no, where, you been, where have you studied your religion? Hey, man, churches. Churches? Yeah, man. That's what we do there. Which one? You want to come over as the angel church? Let's go over there. Yeah, something. and it's yeah? Uh, yeah. just sermons you go to. Hey man, have you been accredited thing. with anything? I... Have you been accredited with anything? I'm accredited by the Holy Spirit. Oh, okay, fantastic! Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, you, you, you got that one? Brilliant. Okay, you, you got that one? Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Okay, oh, you do. Let's, let's you, you're let's baptized. Let's so you think? Oh, so you're baptized? I'm baptized. Yeah, oh, really? I'm baptized. Awesome, I'm baptized. man. Good, good for you. Okay, I excellent. think that's potentially sure, but that's fine. Let's move on. All right. Let's move on. Let's waste my time. So you don't know. Hey, man. Like, listen. I ain't wasting anything. Okay, now ask a question. Let me hear. Let me hear. We the, the main difference I'm postulating between okay. Islam and Christianity on the, on the right. question of free will and determinism okay. and the question of the will of God mm -hmm. is actually to do with the Trinity. So much so that the I Quran, bet. Of course it is. I mean, you know it and I do. The Quran has verses explicit that are, are actually polemicizing against this idea of the Trinity and the will. I think the Quran so, says that Christians believe in one God, but okay, that's, that's fine. Where does it say that actually? Uh, Surah 29 46. What, what does it say? Uh, Christians, Christians it, of today. It, it uh, tells, the, it tells the Muslims to yeah. talk to the Christians in the best of ways. Yeah. And well, to say to, to them that uh, they and them have one God. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So yeah. this is not what I'm saying. So is, is, is that what you're doing to me right now? Out of curiosity, no, no, are you, no, no, are, so is you this know, the best of ways? Oh, okay. The, all right. The ayah says, well, mm -hmm. ahl al -kitab. Just do the English, please, man. I'm not gonna do what you say. Just skip it, man. I'm not gonna do what you say. I am not Arabic. I don't care. Like, like then there's no point in you, you giving like me give the Arabic. You don't like it, All I'm saying is you you tend to. I don't like using the word a lot, but you tend to waffle a little bit. Okay. Yeah. You talk for like twice. As you should, okay. just get to the point. Thank you for your critique. That's all. Thank you for your critique. So please, English. If please, I go, say go, go in English, it. Hebrew, and Aramaic, I'll do it. Just get to the English because no, I don't, I don't I, speak I, a different I don't, language. I don't care. If you want to drive from a point, just do, do, do it. Do you understand what I'm saying? I don't care about your preferences. And you know why? I'm not here to wait, serve wait, wait, wait. you. I'm not here to do, serve do you. Do you know why I got I'm that? Not here because you said it in English. So please, I don't just care. say it in English no, first and then we're better, all right? Listen, you have to understand something. I'm speaking to tens of thousands of people across the world. And you're not important compared to them. 
Oh, I'm speaking so to you. You're, 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 you're speaking really to people who speak Martin's English but only Arabic when you, you want to pull important. Hadith and Quran. You're not important to me. You're speaking to you're people who me. speak English fluently but only want to hear you're Arabic not, not when it comes to the Quran and Hadith. Because you is, think is that you're what important. you're doing? Yeah, you you don't you're wait to hear the is that what you're doing? Important. Is that not what special. you're doing? Your preferences are not going to be respected. If we're having a conversation, just go to the end and do the English. That's all. I'm not going to do this. I mean, listen, you're no, wasting no, no, time then. You're wasting my time. Who are you? No, no you're wasting Who my you? time because you're saying everything you're twice. That goes to the if, imagine if I said things twice to you. You're an un, un, unworthy uh, opponent, really. What? You're lucky that I'm speaking to you right now. Well, you came to me. That's yeah, what, no, that's I'm what I'm saying. But you're lucky. So, it, doesn't, well, it doesn't stop the fact listen, that you're lucky. Listen, all, all, you're, you're, doing, all you're doing is wasting you're my you're, time you're, by you're double time. speaking. What would, you, what would you be doing? By double, what would you be doing? Talking to somebody tell about the gospel you, instead. Mark. Okay? No, don't worry. Mark already believes over here. Tell, yeah. okay. Mark, tell, uh, tell, tell However, tell however, focus on me. Stop playing to the crowd. Focus on me. Focus on me. I'm lightly running. I'm not running. You're running a little. Focus on me. Okay, I'm asking a question then. Get to the end of your eye or whatever and just do it in English, please. Go, go for it. Let me ask a question. You've got three wills. The will of the Father, the will of the Son, and the will of the Holy Spirit. Yes. All right. So now, I understand that if God wills something, let's say, for example, that tree to be green. If the Father wills for that tree to be green, the Son wills for the tree to be blue, and the Holy Spirit wills for the tree to be red. Okay. What color is the tree going to be? So, you're, you're going by that dumb Islamic uh, uh, like, like, uh, logic. Answer it. So, so, uh, suggesting that... Um, so the Quran says it's in some ayah, he'll probably say it in Arabic or whatever if he knows the one. But it says that if Ask there were more than one God, that they would uh, fight each other for supremacy or whatever. When it comes to the Father, Son, and Spirit, all three share completely in the divine essence. What color would so, the tree be? So, so they don't will things that are different from one another. They are three distinct minds, but because they are all knowing, all powerful, and all, all the other what omnis, the tree be? they all will things. Similarly, so what color would the tree be? So they don't will things contrary to one another. Okay, so, so if, the they, if the father, they? well, no, they would not because no, no, I'm not asking would they. they I'm saying would can they? Not because they can all they? agree on things. No, but my question is, can they? They would not. No, I'm not saying would they. See how he's doing it. You said can, can they? I said they would not. I'm not saying would. Would and can are two that, different words. That would imply that within the, that language. would imply that <laughs> within the yo 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 again again. No again. What you're saying? Can they or not? What you're saying would imply that the three persons disagree with each other. I'm they do not, no, no, I'm not because I'm not, the doxology that we can always see. Listen. Oh, it's Maybe, listen this far. The authority that we always see is one where the father will well, something the it is carried out by the son in the get power the of the already, Mark. They don't will three different things. For example, for example, if, if, if I was to compare this to your Allah, right? Do you hold to the idea of no, Allah? Don't ask me question, no, 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 no. Answer my question. No, answer my question. Don't yell. With these Muslims, don't run away. Uh, like you, for example, I, I'm gonna stand right here. You, you, you don't run away. At the end, at the end, I won't leave you. What leave. color would the be? So what, what color ultimately, would it's very similar to this. What color like, would the tree like be? Like I told you, the three wills align perfectly throughout can they all things. Can they differ? They do not differ. No, no, not do they. So can they differ? Yes or no. When it comes can they differ, to your yes or no? Allah, for example, can they differ? Yes or no? You, if some can Muslims might yes hold no? to the idea that he has two hands. Can they differ? Yes or no? For example. Can, can Allah's hands yes no? oh, will oh, to hold up two different fingers at once? Look at the running. Get that towel ready, boy. Again, can I'm waiting. They differ? And I said they do Mark, not. Get it ready. Again, I'm saying they do not. White towel. So, when it comes to your Allah, can, they differ can yes Allah's two no? right hands differ? Can they differ? Yes can no? Allah's two right hands you differ? The no, no. I answered the question. Answer the question? I said can they do the not. Question? Now, can in, in yes your no? case, can they differ does Allah's two right hands differ? I am whistling. Can the I have father's told you. will differ from the son's I told you it does yes no? not. Now, can does Allah's yes right no? hand can differ from his other right hands? He's running. I'm waiting for Everyone you. Can see. I'm standing still. Everyone. Yeah, can you see so, yes or no? I, I mean, I know he wears can glasses, yes or no? but unfortunately for him, can I'm right here. Can you say yes or no? I'm right here. Is, is he running away from the question? I'm waiting. Can the will of the I father told you the answer. The now, I'm waiting can for you. Yes when it comes to Allah, can his two right hands differ? Do you say yes or no? Can his two right hands differ? I'm waiting. Can they differ yes or no? Bro, if he answers, he's believed from this. I'm waiting. Can they differ yes or no? They don't. No, no, your turn. They don't. No, your turn. Can they differ yes or no? They don't. Your turn. Can they no, don't. No, no, no. Your I'm turn. not asking. I'm don't. waiting. I'm saying can, can. They do Logically not. possible. I'm not saying do. I am saying, I'm saying they do, do not. Do is a statement of declarative. It's a declarative statement. I'm saying can. Is it or logically possible? Or performative action. They do not. I'm not saying that do or not. I'm saying can. C A N. If all can three persons differ, share, yes yo, or yo, no. yo, yo. If all can three persons yes no? share completely Mark, in the divine essence, no, no, huh? that would mean that can they the all share exactly what it means to be God. 
and God does up? not differ amongst do God. Up? So that would mean David, that the three persons only hold to the exact same Jesus, will say for any action. Say mercy. Now, when it comes to say you, mercy. does your Allah mercy. with his two right hands, say mercy. can the two right hands say mercy. pursue each other? Say mercy. So for example, can say one I right quit. hand will to hold a five Tap fingers out. and the other to hold seven fingers? And then this is the thing. I am waiting, Mohammed. Can one right hand will to hold four fingers and the other one will to hold five and it's agreed? I'm waiting for you, Mohammed. I'm waiting for you. Do your two right hands differ? I am. Two times now. I answered it. I answered it. Your turn. Muhammad, don't run from defending your God. With his two right hands, is he capable of holding four fingers on one hand and five on the other hand when one agrees to hold up four and the other to hold up five? Over here, over here. I'm waiting. Don't run. Don't throw the towel yet. What are you doing? Oh my goodness. Alright, well. Uh, unless Allah can help you, I don't think he can. Well, yes, you're looking at your hands. Now, Allah has two right hands, okay? So, can one hand choose to hold up five fingers, and the other one choose to hold up four fingers, and one to give the other one? I'm waiting. Differ. I'm waiting. Can they differ? Can Allah's hands differ? Yeah, I'm waiting. I'm waiting. Can Allah's hands differ? I'm waiting, Muhammad. Can Allah's Can hands differ? differ? So I'm waiting. Answer my question. I already answered it. Who now I'm waiting for first? you. Who asked question first? And I answered it twice. Everyone first? on camera. Uh, I'll you can see question. that with this dude. I'll answer question. I answered the question twice. I'll answer I'm question. waiting. And no, please, answer in English, Can they differ? No, in Arabic. Can they in differ? English, it's not Arabic. Can okay? They, can the wills differ, yes or no? I am is waiting. I already or told you. Yes or no? I already told you. Now I am waiting for you to answer your question. Give up. Answer mine. Can Allah's right hand differ? Give up, boy! Can Allah's Give up, right hands differ? You, it's over! Are you losing your voice? <laughs> it's over! Are you losing are your voice? you losing your face, boy? Hell no! Oh, are you no. losing your face? So, can, can Allah's right hands differ? Can Allah's one right hand will to hold up four fingers and the other will to hold up five? But then it's disagree with each other. Can you do it? Yes. So imagine your right hand, but two of them. Can they do it? Can they differ? Yep. Can they? Can they differ? Can Allah's right hands differ? Yes, I'm waiting. Yes. Can they differ? Is can that what he says? Allah's right hands differ? Can the will of the Father I answer the question, the the but you keep asking the same can one over and over again. Is so it logically possible or not? I am waiting Is for you. Possible? Can Allah's right hands differ? He doesn't answer. I answer your question, but you're the one who isn't answering. Are you done yet? Yeah? Can Allah's done, yeah? right hands Come. differ? You, you, you rule it as a Don't yo, run, don't yo. run, don't run. Come on. I'm waiting. Do Allah's right hands differ? Don't run, man. Both of them. If you can help this guy, can you help him understand if Allah's don't right hands can differ or not? Simple. He needs help. Why is it about hands? He needs help. Why is it about hands? Because Allah's hands have will, right? What's about will? Because Allah's one. No, no. So that means his hands no one said are like one with no him, right? Like that. Really? Yeah. So yeah, yeah. Allah, no, Allah's, Allah's hands are part of, yes of him. Uh, Allah's hands. So oh, really? Really? Yeah. So why did Muhammad say that I saw can my Lord yes no? and his both his hands are right? Excuse me. Why did he say that? Can the will why did yes no? Muhammad say that? So you go to another question. Why did Muhammad say Diversion. that both the hands Diversion. are right? You give up. Why you did give up. if you don't believe you in it, okay, why I'm did Muhammad give, say give that both hands were right? Oh no, don't run. Don't run. Yo, Siraj, 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 come help him. Siraj, come help him. Okay. If you don't answer my question about will, Muhammad. Don't, don't go anywhere, Mohammed. Don't go anywhere. Okay. Because if you go question. anywhere, I'm going to say you run. So stay I right here. You say. Okay. Who cares about your opinion, boy? Again. Who cares about if your you opinion? If you run, I'm going to say you run. Who cares about I'm your opinion? Make, huh? I asked the question. Can no, 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 the walls differ? Yes or no? But why can he do it? Okay, I'll ask you. Again. Can the walls differ? Yes or no? Can hands differ? No. What? I already what? asked what you. Can hands differ? No, 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 what do you mean, can, can hands his hands differ? Okay, if I answer your question, you answer mine. I already answered you. So no, actually, no, no, you I, I have even no, more questions for you question. regarding Allah. You they do. So, you didn't again, my do can his you, hands me. differ? Can I ask you a question? I am waiting. If I yours, do his hands mine? differ? If I answer mine, I you already answer answered mine. If you answer yours, we answer mine. I already answered. No, so please, I when you answer, answer in English, not Arabic. What's your answer? I already answered it. I already answered it. The video heard me, you didn't hear me. You said do. Again, I am waiting. I am waiting. Can they differ, yes or no? Do his hands differ? Hand differ. He's done. He's okay, done. so Muhammad Hijab is going to run away because, unfortunately for him, he can't defend his God. 
So all he can do is like stretch or whatever, and doesn't really do anything. So ultimately, my Muslims, here is the issue. Is it possible for your Allah's hands to will to hold up one five hands and the other one hold up four fingers and they agree with each other? Is it the case that Allah cannot decide if he wants to hold up one hand or two hands at the same time? So ultimately, you have to then decide, does Allah will for his hand to hold up four fingers and five at the same time or not? That's the problem. So, uh, he can't answer it because unfortunately he has, he has no idea about, about Allah. So ultimately, when it comes, however, to the... I answered it myself. So, huh? Sorry? The word of Allah. Anashari. Hey, it's an Ashari, huh? Okay, well, well, look, Muslims all around the world, or whoever watches this, understand very simply. Allah is not a God you should follow. Instead, come to the actual God, the triune God, the Father, Son, and the Spirit, the ones who by which can grant you salvation, not some deformed God with two right hands. Ultimately, that's the case. Is this the best you have? Yes. Then, Muhammad, run away, okay? I'll catch you later. But next time I see you, Muhammad, I'm going to ask you about these two right hands. There you go. Go, go ahead. All right. Well, it's, it's that simple. Yo. Hey, man, listen, like, uh, sure thing. Where's the mic? It's, it's here somewhere. You ruined that whole debate, I answered it three times. So, don't, don't worry, come over here. He knew he was crazy. He did not have a day. So, I mean, I was, I was talking to a couple of guys, uh, one, one, one uh, Shia guy, about uh, slavery for some odd reason. And then after talking with him, uh, he was getting coached by that other guy over there, Muhammad. So, uh, Muhammad then came in and wanted to talk to me about the will of God. We spoke about the will of God, but ultimately he couldn't reconcile the idea that his God, unfortunately, is so uh, perverse that he actively wills for people to go to hell. To the extent by which, even if they are performing the actions that will not land them in hell, what Allah has written for them, or better, send the angels to write for them, will overtake them and cause them to do the actions of the people of hellfire so that they will go to hellfire. Contrasting with the idea of the Christian God, who wants above all things that you prosper and be in good health. However, we as, as Christians or people in general have the capacity to negate the idea of what God wants for us and as a result cannot attain salvation with Him. In Islam, Allah is so insecure that He has to ensure that you go to heaven or hell by making sure that whatever action you're committing will be overridden in order to account for His own will. Lastly, He asked me a question about uh, the three wills of the three persons of the Trinity. He asked me that can they will different, essentially they all agree, the three agree in that they are all, uh, they all partake in the divine essence. So exactly what it takes uh, to be God, meaning that when the Father wills something, it is carried out by the Son as He agrees with the power of the Spirit as He also agrees. They don't agree in different things. What he is saying comes from the dumb Islamic idea of, of uh, a verse in the Quran where it mentions that if there were more than one God, they would fight each other for supremacy. Again, a dumb idea. Because surely if there was more than one God, then that would mean that either the two or three or multiple were not omniscient, omnipresent, omnipotent, but they said they were all a bunch of demigods. So, I then asked him to, uh, as a retort, Allah has two right hands. If he wills for one hand to hold up four fingers and the other to hold up five fingers, can they disagree with each other or will they only follow what Allah tells them? So can his right hand, because don't forget, Allah is one God. So one God with two right hands, can one hand will to hold up four fingers and the other hold up five and disagree? And he wouldn't answer because he's afraid. He told me I would run, but I knew he would run because with Muhammad, as I've seen him in the past, whenever he's losing an argument, he will resort to doing insults and uh, flexing his arms. So ultimately, when you see him again, ask him about the divine will of Allah's hands. There you go. But ultimately, I told the Christian, the Muslim, sorry, to come to Christ. So we'll see what happens. All right. Thank you. Amen. Yeah.